the entry hall here to the house has really changed. You know, I can remember back when it was just nothing but, well, studs. And this staircase, well, it was just roughed in. But now all the refined details are here. We did the plaster curves, which I think really adds so much to this space. We have a curve here at the top of the staircase. And at the bottom under the staircase, there's another curve. And these are really the only two curves in the entire house. What I love about this space are the proportions and the scale of it. And what helps tie it together is really color. We have the white trim. We have this beautiful Nantucket breeze wall color, which is a soft green. But then there's a lot of brown in here. You look at the sisal rugs I've used on the floor. I have two rugs, one runner down the hall and one up the staircase. And that's banded in a chocolate brown which reflects the furniture and what I consider a piece of furniture, this handrail. It's walnut. And after several layers of loving finish, we got this gorgeous shine and color and all resonates so well. Now, one of the focal points here in the entry hall that you see as soon as you come in the front door are these portraits that are stacked at the top of the stairwell. Now, these are reproductions that came out of a three-set folio or three-set volume. It's called The History of the Indian Tribes of America. You see, they were published by McKinney and Hall. And there were these three different sets that came out at different times. The first, 1832, then 1835 for the second one, then the last one was 1844. Sadly, most of them burned in a fire in the Smithsonian that occurred in 1865. And these are just a reminder of the Native American presence that was here in this part of the world before white settlers came. We had Caddo's, we had Osage, and we had the Quapaw. And the river just beyond that Thomas Nottall came down in 1819 when we first became a territory, that was part of the Trail of Tears. Of course, that's a very sad chapter of American history, and we can deal with that on another show. But I have to tell you that I'm really excited about this coming together. It's all natural. We've used the sisal, we've used pine that's local, and we've used this beautiful uh, locally milled walnut. So that feels really good, but there's still a lot of details that haven't been covered yet, but we're getting there. We're just about to finish up the hall.